Washington Island, suddenly he can get through with a bunch of damage, but I don't see how he's going to get through on the board. I mean, I guess Sig can't get that much pro color. Well, it requires white, so he can only do, uh, he can only do one. I even do two. He has two. Yeah, he has two whites, so I didn't say the Atacar. Yeah, just played an Atacar. Still at 18 to 17. Oh, I mean, he has to do something because Shue can conceivably kill him next turn on an overrun. Makes a 2-2 here. Not quite, but it's, it's close. And he has to, he has to attack Garrick. Oh, you think he goes pro color, pro color, attack Garrick, kill Garrick? I, he might have to. I mean, he can, yeah, four mana for, worth of pro green would successfully kill Garrick. Back to sick, sick of this. Yeah, that's what's exactly what's happening. Well, he can do it once, hit Garrick three. I think he wants Garrick done. Yep. And you really see the power of Sig River Guide here. True. Sig River Guide takes out Garrick. <laughs> but Shuhei stays at 17. True. I don't think Shuhei's distraught at that eventuality. I mean, if he's buying time, Imperius Perfect is his route to victory. Yeah. So, like, Garrick, it was basically a time walk. Yeah. Right, deals a point of damage, deprives the on of all his mana for a turn. Pretty close, you know, gives Shuhei the chance to make a token. Pretty close to a time walk. And now, yeah, Shuhei is okay. getting to the point where he can go on offense. You know, white mana from Yan right now. Vanquisher gets in there for four. <laughs> Here's yet another Wayfinder. All right, another 3-3, three, three, another lands. It's funny how the green deck is the incremental advantage deck here, not the blue one. I mean, Yon's source of the card advantage is what, two Ancestrals? <laughs> two Ancestrals and uh, Cryptic Command and Sage just dowsing to draw some cards. Sure. Another member of the Tarmogoyf tribe comes down. Planeswalker in the graveyard now. Starts a successful out. tribe. It's a tribe that's won a, won a pro tour. The Tarma Goyf tribe? The Goyf tribe. We're a Goyf tribe. Justin Gary. Sure. Two pretty good trivia questions. How many tribes have appeared in pro tour winning decks? <laughs> kind of interesting. There's a third activation on for SIG. Yep. <laughs> Those pings are starting to add up. Yon at 13. Right now can get a clear a clear attack for seven. You know, it's but he he really needs you know, he'd like a redry. Like yeah, I mean attacking for seven. Two hits at seventeen. Yeah. He's gotta play defense. Uh, this smells like a redry coming. No, this. Oh, it's a full price. Full price Silvergill adept. What does he draw? Oh. Sure, he's got a token in the queue. Yep. Yeah, Sig pretty much forced to play defense. I think Shuhei, I mean, I think Shuhei's going to play some offense. Does Pro Color beat the Vanquisher's ability? Uh, it's damage related, so, so it does. Yeah. It's death touch. Fair enough. Sig says no touching. <laughs> We've got two types now in the yard with Planeswalker. For the Tarmac Vice. Yep. I don't see a great attack here for Shuhei, do you? I mean, whatever he attacks, he's just going to get munched. He's going to lose one. He's going to... And Jan gets to save one guy. Right, but I don't know... If Shuhei attacks, it's got to be almost an Alpha Strike, right? If the Alpha Strikes, all of his guys are bigger, so Sig can only win one fight. 
Should they worry about the crackback? Two, four, six, nine. There's eleven damage on the other side. Yeah, I think you out this right. I like it. I like it. Shuhei brawls into the red zone. Go two elf tokens, a Lanor elf, a pair of two, three Tarmogoyfs, a Ren's Run Vanquisher, and a Civic Wayfinder. Jan Roos can win any one fight. Thanks, Not all. thanks to Sig, but I don't even think he can win two. Like, everything there will trade. Jan's biggest creature, I guess, Sig is 3 3. He can trade Silver Gill Adept for. He's got a 3 2 Silver Gill Adept. He's got sure. a 3 3 Sig. So he can trade he those. Can, he can eat the two Tarmogoyfs. He can eat a Wayfinder. He can eat one, Tarmogoyf. trade one. Right. So he gets to win one fight full out. He probably gets to win two because Sig gets to pick off a 2 2. But then the rest of the fights are bad, and Jan is sitting on 13, activating Sig. Oh, that's not an Adder. Adder Sig is free. He also can activate Mutavault here instead of going Pro Color. Right. He can make himself a 3 3 Mutavault, which might actually be a better play. 3 3 Mutavault trades for. I mean, assuming, he eats a assuming no spell in. Yeah, a spell here is ridiculous as Tarmogoyce go large, right? And Shuhei's got an instant. But not activating Mutavault. He says not to activate. Lines up. Silver Guild versus Wayfinder is interesting. That's a trade. He's doing some speculative blocking here. This is not actual blockers. Right. Just trying it out for size. Sure, sure. Seeing how the inseam feels. How do you block? I mean, I'm trying. I'm just trying to pick off the biggest, you know, real cards <laughs> on the table here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to kill a Tarmogoyf. I'm gonna try to kill two Tarmogoyfs and keep one of my guys. I think that's that's my that's my. Do you risk Sig? Sig is two two, right? And Sig three three. Is, oh, Sig is Sig is a three three. It's Marfo because we have Lord of Atlantis right. pulling everything up. So, so I probably put Sig in. Sig in front of a Tarmogoyf, right? Sig in front of a Tarmogoyf. I mean, if you're worried, you put Sig in front of an elf, so that there's no like instant speed. Oh, whoops! Tarmogoyf is large. I'm gonna try to kill two guys. Yeah, it's a 2 3. There's a creature and a planeswalker in the graveyard. I'm not. I think he has to have more than two blocks. I feel like I'm looking at taking two, four, six, eight. That takes 11, this block. He's got to get more. He's got to put Stig out there. I don't think he can afford to take a bunch of damage here. Like, what's going to happen next turn? He's just going to attack again. Yeah. Rinse and repeat. You've got to just line up. I mean, you can you can win about two fights. You can survive this, I think, plus two creatures. I think you probably have to gamble blocking Tarmogoyf, too. You can't afford... Yeah, he's got the instant. Okay, fine, he lives. Those are his blocks. That's it? Well, he's not going to lose anything this way. No, he's got to be thinking about right here is a Rejury or a Crypto four, Command. Six, eight, he takes eleven. Now, why did he... What did he protect? Shouldn't both of his guys be alive? Why is the adept in the graveyard? I don't understand that. Didn't he protect it? Or did he protect? I'm not sure I understand what just happened there. Uh-uh. Yeah. It looked like he activated the save there, didn't he? Yes. I mean, maybe he activated it on save to make it pro green in case the Lord of Atlantis was killed and then Sig would die. That's, uh, I think that's what he did. I think he activated it and protected Sig. That way, if there was a nameless inversion on Lord of Atlantis, he wouldn't lose Sig, and the damage on Sig would be prevented. Would have been prevented, reduced to zero. That sounds like that was the play. Yeah, Sig protected Sig himself. That's what our spot on the floor yeah. says. Yeah, I think that's a tight play, actually. He just is it? Does it win though? Like, it assumes that Jan's got a play to just needs to keep his Sig alive. I don't see how Sig wins in this game. 